Hey everyone, Jared here with a quick video explaining a new uh, ASCII doc uh, IDE or editor called um, ASCII doc FX. Um, this particular project is part of the ASCII Doctor Foundation, um, and they're actually making their own Java FX based um, ASCII doc editor um, for use. Those uh, familiar with um, uh, Atom will be familiar with this sort of interface here. Um, it is quite similar in design to Atom, um, except it's all written in Java instead. So, to um, download and install ASCII Doc FX, um, you just uh, go to this page here um, and go to the GitHub releases page, get yourself a binary, um, download it. You can use the RC3s or the um, the latest released version that's um, considered stable, depending on how adventurous you're feeling. Um, and install it and then you run it by going into the directory and firing up the um, the executable. What I've done though is I've just set a, an alias to it so um, you can just launch it from the command line like this. So as the um, app loads up um, the, the app itself is actually relatively performant um, so if I go into repos Let's go and open up my Android user guide that I was writing. Um, it will actually, the cool thing about this particular app is it will actually um, traverse includes uh, and display them for you um, in line, which is pretty neat. Um, if you go into, in this case, um, the subfiles, including the docs uh, menu here. So if I open up this one, um, when you scroll, it will actually scroll with you. Uh, as well, so that's quite nice as well. As you scroll down, this is a very small uh, one, but as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, um, it actually keeps pace with where you are as well. Now, um, there's a, a note that this isn't actually, uh, you can't actually switch that off. There's no um, uh, immediate option to switch that off, but uh, the ASCII Doc FX guys are actually really respondent to um, bugs, so if this is something that's important to you and you like the idea of using ASCII Doc for FX, then um, flick them a bug. Um, and they'll be happy to help you out. Um, you can do that by going and clicking the bug report link which will take you directly to GitHub and you can open up a request or search for one that's already been raised. So um, the if you select the doc type um, of your book uh, to ASCII doc uh, you do get some basic um, editing um, things like strike through, bold, um, you also get some um, bulleted lists, numbered lists, etc. as well. So there's some few short, a few shortcuts you can use there. If you click down the more menu here, you'll get even more snippets. So everything from admonitions to um, block text, doc helpers like um, um, metadata and stuff that you want to put in, appendix, glossary. Um, uh, there's even support for MathJax plant UML um, diagrams. So you can actually do diagrams in ASCII doc or just plain text and they'll render, something I haven't experimented with, but it seems pretty cool. Um, you can also put in pie charts and bar charts directly into ASCII doc as well. So plenty of cool things to try out in this editor. One thing I did wanted to show you in particular though is um, a claim that this editor can actually convert HTML to um, ASCII doc. And I thought, oh yeah, righto, let's see exactly how this works. So I'll go to an old um, release notes book for John here. It's um, a simple book, uh, so it's a good test. I'll just go and copy the, the HTML like this, and then if I just paste it into the window, lo and behold, it converts it to um, ASCII doc. I'll scroll to the top so you can see. With some caveats, of course. I mean, it's not going to be a completely flawless conversion from HTML, but um, there are some, um, it gives you a pretty good starting point um, to um, base your work off. Um, some documents, depending on their structure, will convert better than others. But um, if you have a, a task of converting a, a document from, say, a, a legacy uh, doc book uh, format to ASCII doc, this might be a, a quick way of doing that for you. Um, at least another um, option in your arsenal of tools that you can use to um, work between DocBook and ASCII Doc. So that was a really quick introduction to ASCII Doc FX. I hope you found it useful. 
um, give it a go. It's um, free software, so you've got nothing to lose. And um, enjoy.